hello great people welcome back to another interesting tutorial in today's tutorial i'll be teaching us how to make this silhouette at on our fabric and what we'll be needing for this tutorial is our cloth gum our bias tape our plain fabric i'm using satin our ankara fabric petals for embellishments and of course our gum stay so let's get to work okay first of all i'm going to place my gum stay on fold and draft my pattern i'm starting with a heart pattern i'm drafting my heart pattern so you can see a clearer a clearer draft on the overlay so I'm drafting my heart pattern on my gum stay. So I'm just going to trim off. So this is how to draft the heart pattern. So our heart. So this is the pattern for the heart. So I'll just go ahead and draft the body pattern. My, my gum stay is still on fold so you can see the clear up the clear up pattern on the overlay so I'm just drafting my my body pattern so I'm going to make a little slant on the head you will understand why I did this when we start sewing our pattern to our dress so our patterns are ready so this is my hat and the body pattern you can see the shape is coming out already so the next step is to iron our hat our hat shape to the Ankara fabric and i'm going to iron the body shape to the satin fabric so i've already ironed them to the fabric so i'm going to be marking half inch around the heart pattern I'm going to be marking half an inch around the heart pattern So after marking around, I'm going to trim off from the mark. I'm just going to trace the mark I've created already. So I'm going to be making some notches around the Ankara fabric so it's time to apply some gum on the gum stay and bend our Ankara fabric towards it so 
so our heart is ready as you can see our heart is ready it's now time to work on the body pattern so i have another satin cut out i'm going to be placing the satin with the pattern on the other satin right side facing right side so i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew around the pattern by half an inch So I'm just going to trim off the excess around the pattern. Just trimming it off. So I'll be making some notches around this I'll make some notches around the pattern so we can have some smooth edges after turning our pattern that is the essence of these notches I'm making around the pattern So I'm just going to separate them with my finger like so. I'm separating the satin from, I'm separating the back pattern from the front pattern. And I'm going to make a cut at the back. I'm going to make a cut big enough cut big enough to enable me to turn my pattern very well so I'm using my scissors to make sure all the edges are out So I'm just going to iron it so so I'm done ironing so I have my heart pattern and the body pattern ready so it's time to fix it on our fabric you can also use this on your plain t-shirt you can also use this as a wall art but I'll be fixing mine on my kimono dress. I have a video where I made a kimono dress. I have a tutorial video where I taught how to make a kimono dress. If you want to know how to make this kimono dress, please check my previous video. I'll be dropping the link on the description box. So I'm going to be placing this on my kimono dress. So I'm going to open up my dress. So I'm, I'm fixing my design before sewing the two sides of my dress. So I'm just going to mark where I want my pattern 
to start from I'm also going to get the midpoint of my heart I'm just going to get the midpoint so I'm going to pin it I'm going to pin my heart pattern on my dress so I'm going to be stitching my heart pattern on my dress I'm going to be stitching it round just attach it smoothly please make sure your fabric is well placed while fixing your patterns as you can see I'm trying to check my fabric to make sure it's not squeezing so as I'm attaching my pattern I'll be arranging my fabric I'll be strengthening my fabric to make sure I have a smooth work So we fixed our hat. I'm just going to take off the pins. You can see our hat is looking beautiful already. So it's time to attach the body pattern. So now you understand why I made that curve at the center is to give our pattern a more realistic look. You will understand it more when I start fixing the bias. It will give the pattern a more realistic look. That was why I made that curve at the head of the body pattern. So I'm just going to pin my head, my body pattern to to the heart. So after pinning it, I'm going to be sewing just the top part for now. I'm not going to sew it run. I'm just going to sew just this top. So I'll be using my truck to create the front brim of my hat. So I'm creating the front brim of my hat. So after doing that, I'll be using my bias tape. I'll be placing my bias tape on my mat area and top stitch. I'll be top stitching my bias tape on the mat area so I'm creating the brim for the front part of the hat I'll be stitching the two ends of the bias tape So we've created our front brim, so it's now time to create the back brim of the hat. So I'm going to take my pattern up 
like this and I'll start attaching my bias from the back to create the back brim of the hat
so we are done with our hat wow isn't this looking beautiful so it's time to stop stitch our pattern to our fabric so i'm going to top stitch it around like so So I'll be using some pin to hold the, bo the body pattern to our fabric before sewing it round. So we are done attaching our body pattern. Wow, this is looking beautiful already. So it's time to embellish my hat with my petals. So I'm just checking which of the petals to use to use the large or the smaller one. I think I'm just going to I'm going to go for the larger petals. I think it fits more. So I'm just going to keep the smaller one aside. So I'm going to use my hand needle. So I'll be tacking my petals to my hat with my hand needle. So I'm just going to make a little tacking just at the middle. I'm not going to sew everything, just a little tack at the middle. So this is just okay. So our hat is already looking beautiful so i'm going to be using this anchor to make some gathers around the chest area what i have here is 24 inches by 5 inches this is what i'll be using to create my gathers around the chest area of the body pattern so i'm just going to fold the two edges of this
so after folding the two edges i'm going to be biasing i'm just going to be biasing one side of this fabric and biasing the longer part what i have here is 24 inches by 5 inches so i'm going to be biasing one side of the 24 inches So I'm going to be creating a curve on how I want my fabric to fit around the chest area. So I'm just going to make a curve around the chest area of the pattern. So I'm just going to get the midpoint of this. And I'll be making some gathers around the marked area i'm just going to gather my fabric around the marked area so i'm just going to be gathering my fabric to form some gathers So our silhouette art is almost ready so I'm just going to be making a top stitch on my gathers. So we are done. This is what 
our silhouette looks like please if this video was helpful to you please encourage me by giving this video a like and please do not forget to subscribe for more interesting diys so i'm going to, i'm just going to use my stones to create some earrings for our pattern to give it a more realistic look and please do not forget to check the description box to see the link on how to make your kimono dress thanks for watching and see you in our next tutorial do have a nice day bye